Hey guys, so today we're going to go over how to create a Windows to go uh, essentially uh, live disk. Uh, it's kind of like Linux live CDs. Uh, this is a new feature that's going to be in Windows 8. Um, currently the, the early release for Windows 8 is out. The consumer preview. Um, definitely get that from Microsoft. I'll include some links to download that. Um, we'll need to have with Windows 8 uh, along with the uh, Windows automated install kit um, and I'll include the link to get that as well. So what we can do uh, once we have it we'll want to uh, open up a command prompt excuse me and you want to be sure you launch it as administrator and uh, <clears throat> so what we're going to go ahead and do is move to our removable device, uh, which is Drive I for me. Uh, if you're unsure, you can look at my computer and you'll see your flash drive. Um, now, note this will require a 32 gig or higher flash drive, um, so just be aware of that. So, what we need to do here uh, is type in this part to drop us into the disk partitioning prompt. Uh, it'll take a second to load up here. Okay. And then we type in list disk right here. Um, now I do have a 30, uh, 32 gig drive uh, and it only shows up as 29 so this is the drive I want to use. <coughs> uh, so we can type in select disk and we want to give it a number four because it's the one I want to use. <coughs> All right. So once we've selected the disk, we want to type in clean, and we have cleaned the disks of any uh, existing formatting. So we want to create. Now what we're going to do here is create a primary partition, uh, very quick, and we can go ahead and. Format. Uh, it's going to be NTFS, and we're going to tell it to do a quick format for the VI. This will still take a few minutes. While this is going, uh, you can see in the background here we'll need the image X binary. Uh, this is taken from the program files of the Windows automated install kit. Um, I'll include the, uh, the location to grab that. Uh, we also need the install.wim WIM, from the Windows 8 ISO. Uh, so I'll include the link or uh, the location to grab that as well. Uh, I just went ahead and put them in the same file. So uh, you see we finished here. Uh, so let's go ahead and type active. Set it as active and then we can go ahead and exit this part. So now that we've finished formatting the disk that we want to use, we're going to have to go ahead and install the Windows image. So uh, put the ImageX and install.wim in a single uh, directory here on my C drive. So I'm going to go ahead and navigate over there. Oops. Oops. And there they are. So we want to run the ImageX and we're going to do slash apply Oops. and then we'll do install dot win and then the drive letter uh, so in this case drive i is mine so we're going to go ahead and hit enter and let this work its magic now this may take some time so i'm going to cut to the end here so the operation finally finished to apply the image to my drive. It took about 45 minutes. Uh, so all we need to do now is flag it as bootable. Uh, 
So we need B, C, D, delete. And we want to specify the drive and location. like that, I being my flash drive. Let me give it a second. And that's it. Uh, all you have to do is when you boot up, you may be prompted for the Windows activation key, which uh, when you downloaded the, uh, the preview edition of Windows 8, uh, it should be available from Microsoft. Uh, if not, a quick Google search will definitely get it to you. Uh, so that's it. So enjoy your Windows 8 ghosting.